PeopleSoft HCM adds a new feature in employee self-service that enables employees to request to give up their shift or swap their schedules. On the Request Schedule Change page, an employee can choose to give up their shift or trade their shift with a selected coworker. Approvals can be configured for both of these actions. Administrators can name these options according to their organization's standards. Choose a date to request a schedule replacement. Click the View Schedule Calendar option to view your schedule and use the comment box to write a message to your manager with the request. You can navigate to the previous page by clicking the Change option. Select the Submit button to access the request summary page. The page shows that your request is awaiting approval from your manager. You can also create another request or go to your employee calendar from this page. You can also request a schedule swap for a selected date or period with a coworker. Approvals can be configured for both the requested colleague and your manager. Similar to the Give Up Your Shift request page, you can navigate to the previous page by clicking the Change option and view the schedule calendar by clicking the View Schedule Calendar option. Two options are available for you to select your replacement coworker. Display Employees Only with No Conflicts returns a list of your coworkers whose schedules don't conflict with the schedule you want to swap and who are available. View All will show all of your coworkers. Select any coworker with an assigned schedule ID. By selecting an available coworker, you'll be sending a schedule swap request to that colleague and your manager. Selecting the View All option will show the list of all your coworkers. Select any coworker with an assigned schedule ID. Provide your reason for the schedule swap if necessary. Select the Done button to submit the schedule swap request to your coworker. The Trade Shift page shows that your request is awaiting approval from your coworker and will be routed to your supervisor once your coworker approves the request. You can raise another request for another schedule change if needed. This completes our demonstration of the Employee Self Service for Schedule Change Requests feature. PeopleSoft delivers the Processed Absence Insights Dashboard, enabling administrators to view visualizations for processed absences, including paid and unpaid absences and negative absence balances. Filters refine the data you see on visualizations, such as the date range filter. By default, the dashboard shows absence data for the past five years. You can use your own date range to change the set of data you're viewing. The Absence by Paid Status visualization displays the approved, paid, and unpaid duration in hours for different types of absences. The cost of absences processed by different departments for each absence type are shown in the actual absence cost processed via positive input visualization. Use this visualization to view the estimated cost of processed absence by different departments of the organization by absence type. The negative balance hours visualization shows departments with employees who have negative absence balances by absence type. The line chart represents the absence entitlement balances in hours for different types of absences by month. This completes our demonstration of the Processed Absence Insights Dashboard. PeopleSoft delivers a new Manage Benefits tile, providing administrators with a single dashboard to access benefits configuration and administrative tasks. Use the tile to access the new dashboard. The Manage Benefits dashboard introduces two new tiles for analytics. The Life Events Insights dashboard provides administrators with a visual representation of their employees' active life events. You can filter the visualizations using the predefined filters or add your own. The Range of Days selector allows you to choose a minimum and maximum value for days and helps to target the life events that are expired or are about to expire within the selected period. A change in the range updates all the visualizations in this dashboard. These visualizations use real-time indexing and display the latest information available. The Active Life Events Count visualization shows the expired and in-progress life events. Use the chart visualization to view the distribution of life events by employees and days to expiration. The Details Grid displays employee details and enables you to notify them. The Missing Attachments Count visualization gives a count of life events with pending document upload. The chart shows the distribution by employees and days to expiration. Use the Details visualization to view attachments and notify the employee. Use the Pending Approvals visualization to review life events with pending document approvals. Approve documents for employees using the Approve link in the Details visualization. 
Use these visualizations to view life events with missing evidence of insurability proofs, or EOI, and view distribution of life events by benefit plans and days to expiration. Links in the details grid allow you to view the event details and election entry and to notify the employee. A timestamp indicates when the data for the life event types and steps visualization was last updated. Real-time indexing is not enabled for these visualizations. Use the life event types cloud visualization to identify the life event types that are more prevalent. Click to filter by a life event type. This updates all the visualizations in the dashboard. View the distribution of steps in the Life Event Activity Guide by their instances and statuses. This helps the administrator to understand how employees use the Activity Guide. On the Manage Benefits dashboard, the visualizations for Ben Admin Processing Insights help administrators to understand and troubleshoot what is happening in Ben Admin Processing. This interactive process can replace the reports and queries that you've built for these purposes. The Ben Admin Processing Insights dashboard provides three visualizations. Schedule IDs uses a cloud visualization. The different font sizes indicate the number of employees associated with the schedule ID. The bigger the font size, the greater number of employees. Click on the schedule ID to refresh the summary and details visualization. Use the Benefit Schedule Summary chart to identify benefits processing statuses and errors. Summary Details provides links for an administrator to review and correct the processing errors, validate the benefits elections, and notify the employee. Remove the filter to view all the schedule IDs. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Benefits Life Events Visualizations feature. PeopleSoft delivers the Configurable Benefits Statement feature, enabling benefits administrators to configure the benefits statement. Use the Benefits Statement template page to manage seven sections. You can enable or disable the display of a section using the Section option. When set to Never Display, the section does not appear in the Benefits Statement. If set to Always Display, then you can choose the section fields to display in the Benefits Statement. Sections for Dependents, Beneficiaries, and Investment Allocations have an additional option to display these only when applicable. Linking the statement template to the statement type provides administrators with better configurability. With this enhancement, you have the same benefit statement available to view online and for print. This completes our demonstration of the configurable benefit statement feature. PeopleSoft Benefits delivers usability add-ons to the Fluid Benefits Plan Comparison feature, giving greater flexibility to the look of the comparison. Compare your plan choices side by side by dragging and dropping the plan to the desired column. Plan images help employees to identify the benefit plans. A Back to Top button appears when you start scrolling from the top. Use the button to quickly return to the top of the page, which is very helpful for lengthy comparisons. You can easily view a footnote by clicking the View Footnote button next to the data. A pop-up window appears with the footnote information instead of scrolling to the footnote section at the bottom of the page. Administrators now have choices on how to align the data for the system-delivered sections. This enhancement also provides a rich text editor to style the header instructions and section descriptions. This applies to footer instructions as well. The Plan Comparison Setup pages in the Benefits Work Center allow administrators to set up these usability features. This completes our demonstration of the Fluid Benefit Plan Comparison Additional Usability Enhancements feature. PeopleSoft HCM continues to deliver analytics for managers and administrators to aid in tracking and evaluating their remote workforce. For customers that track work remote eligibility by job code and position, the new Remote Work Eligibility Visualization specifies the number of employees eligible to work remote and those that are not. The graph also displays how many are working fully remote, how many work both in and outside the office, and the number of people that are working full-time in the office. Understanding why employees choose to work remotely can help in planning as well as understanding what's important to your employees. Managers and administrators now have access to data showing the top reasons employees work remotely. While most of the visualizations show current information, the request history tiles display how the remote work has changed by month over time. Historically, looking at how employees request remote work can provide insight into cyclical patterns. 
Two additional visualizations available to administrators are the remote work locations by state and by postal code. These visualizations allow an administrator to see where workers are for tax purposes and emergencies. This completes the additional remote worker analytics feature description. Payroll for North America delivers new configuration options, providing additional flexibility to the direct deposit functionality in Fluid Employee Self-Service. Available separately for both Canada and the U.S., administrators can use these options to require employees to add an account for remaining balances to be deposited, remove the use of checks as payment method, prevent employees from deleting the last direct deposit account they have on file, Specify the default behavior for printing direct deposit advices for employees who create their direct deposit accounts for the first time. Specify the maximum number of direct deposit accounts allowed. And set up job action-based direct deposit override options. This completes the direct deposit extended functionality feature description. With Payroll for North America, you can now create files to import employees' W-2 and W-2C information to your tax preparation software provider as part of the U.S. year-end processing, making it easier for employees to file their returns online. From the Run Control page, administrators can select whether to create files with employees' W-2 or W-2C information, specify the maximum number of employee records to include in a file, and indicate if an audit report is needed. After the system generates the files, administrators compress them and upload the zip archives to the tax preparation software provider. This completes the U.S. Tax Preparer Import File feature description. The Program Funding Configuration feature enables state programs like Paid Family Medical Leave to be delivered to customers quickly and efficiently in Payroll for North America. This feature provides an interface for program definition, tax calculation rules, and program association with states to be set up in a central location. It allows PeopleSoft to define state programs, which can then be delivered to customers using scripts in tax updates. Customers can also use it to define their own programs if they choose to do so. After completing the setup, the state program is ready for use in the company state tax table, as well as the state tax data update for employees. This completes the program funding configuration feature description. Payroll for North America allows employees to access year-end form details without enabling the screen reader mode first when they sign into the system. These options are country-specific. When selected, employees can view their year-end form details and filing instructions from online pages just like they would when they enable the screen reader mode on the system sign-on page. This completes the year-end detail access for all users in Employee Self-Service feature description. PeopleSoft delivers a new feature for recruiters and administrators to ease the recruiting process. You can now manage duplicate applicants in your applicant list during the applicant merge process. When you merge the applicants manually, you can choose to continue with or without an applicant list update. The batch process to merge duplicate applicants updates the applicant list automatically. To run the merge without an applicant list update, use the Exclude Applicant List Update option. After the merge, the duplicate applicant IDs are removed, and the active applicant's ID is available in the applicant list. A new field is available on the Recruiting Installation page to define the status reason for inactive applicants after the merge. The duplicate applicant is set to inactive status with the status reason defined in the Setup page. This completes our demonstration of the Update Applicant List from Applicant Merge Process feature. Global Payroll for Core can now generate element trace for a payee or a payee list. It can also limit the element trace generation to only the selected calendar IDs for each payee. In addition, by selecting the payee, element trace will be generated even if the payroll execution fails. The payee selection section appears when you identify the payroll and activate the Enable Trace flag in the installation settings. This completes the Advanced Element Trace option feature description. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool 
the Update Image Overview on MyOracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.